Now, come on, even you can't be master that one, haven't you? Not as bad as the others, I'll admit that. But when it comes to talent, it takes more than a short skirt to get round me. Oh, Sarge, that's not what you said to me last night. <laughs> Typical inspector. Never around when you really want one. We're not even on overtime now. Come on, we'll do this tomorrow. Why? You're the one who insisted we sort this. I'd rather sing at Cop Idle than go through bank statements all night. Uh, good evening, sir. It's a Sergeant Townsend. 17 years servicing. Been retired 12 years. Ill health. Developed Alzheimer's. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. See what you can do and bail me back. Come on, quick. Dennis is in the bedroom on the phone. Was it Phil who sent you? I thought you said you didn't know. If it was, you tell him to stay away. Oi, he's entitled to paternity rights. He isn't the father. If you show your face around here again... Dennis! I think I saw someone by the front door. Results. That was a very close sport contest, but your new Federation rep is Nick Klein. Is he? Oh, he has some energy on the stage. Oh, well. Enjoy the buffet, and we'll recommence in 20 minutes. It makes you feel any better, I vote if you. Oh, thank you very much. So, what I'm going to do is go, all that extra work, I wouldn't have any time myself. yourself. There's no point being bitter about it. You just got to get on with life. Even if you are stuck in a wheelchair. I really admire the way you come to terms with it. Yeah, well, one thing I have realised is how badly I treated you and Luke. I can't believe it was so stupid. She's going to forgive me. It's all right. Let's forget about it. I'll get us some more drinks. She thinks I'm lovely. Fell for it, hook, line and sink. Here we go. What's up? So why didn't you just tell us? He's got Alzheimer's. He'd have forgotten he bought it. Hiya. Hiya. You're not going to shove that shackle in my face. No, no, I just wondered if you wanted some dessert, that was all. Oh, nice one, babe. Thanks. All right. I thought that was quite a giggle tonight. What'd you reckon? Yeah, it went better than I thought. Hmm. I would have laughed, I know that. You know what, I reckon we should do it again sometime. It's not as easy as it looks, you know. It takes some organising this. I didn't mean everyone else, I mean. Hey, sorry, mate. Oh, yeah. You all right? Yeah, there you are. I thought I'd been stood up. Yeah, sorry. What were you saying? Uh, nothing. I'll leave you to. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Sure. <laughs> you see Kasky, tell her to give me a call. Look, save yourself the bother. She's not interested. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. Truth is, there's somebody else on the scene. I'm just trying to look after my mate, that's all. Yeah, well, isn't she lucky to have a friend like you?
Mr. James. James Mickey. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, mate. All right. Will you just look after him while I kick things off? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll see you in a minute. You know long ago? Not long enough. There's, um, three brown bottles. One that says three times a day. Um, I'm sure I've seen these tablets before. Yeah, they're just really strong painkillers. The clay should be able to sort me out. So. Don't do it if it's making you feel sick. I don't know what this place is like. Let's get back to Carl. Never mind, Carl. You've he's... seen the state he's in. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. But it doesn't give him the right to walk all over you. It's not. Anyway, what's it matter to you? Oh, just forget it. himself a cabin cruiser. He did what? Just been delivered. He ordered and paid for it at the boat show. £37,000. I remember him going there for the day. Well then you two should have checked your facts before accusing us. I'm sorry Mark. That's not your fault, it's theirs. I'm sorry too. I didn't want to fall out. Quick. I told you he was away with the fairies. I'll be having words with my solicitor. Certainly. You'll both be entitled to legal representation. What do you mean? Maxine's admitted stealing from Mr. Townsend. That's your fault. And what have I done? It's called fraud, Mr. Fry. Adding £3,000 to someone else's bill and building a conservatory next door. Stupid cow. 